I, I think I think the serious game, uh, as as it is now, at least in North America, is uh, sort of an umbrella term that includes everything from like training games, propaganda games, uh, advertising games, educational. And to me, is like uh, it's not what I'm interested in. It's like uh, maybe it can fall, it can be some part of like a serious game sort of umbrella term, but. That's definitely like not how I want to frame them. I I just want my stuff to be games. I'm I'm kind of perplexed uh, about educational games because they are generally um, capital intensive. Like making games generally, like if you want to make it on a professional grade, it kind of it's kind of expensive. And I, I don't think it's the the top priority for education right now. Like especially when you have a lot of cuts, like due to the economic crisis. So. To me, uh, it's problematic to push to, to push the idea that oh yeah, we need uh, games because they are more engaging. To me, you can do like if you have a good uh, um, a good like framework. If you are like a good teacher, you can uh, basically use game uh, as educational tools. This like without having them to be like specifically designed for education. So you can you can get and they're like a, I don't know. Like, you you can start playing this game. Uh, that is about like uh, the eastern and western Germany and the Berlin and the Berlin Wall, and this can be uh, engaging enough to start a conversation and to sort of like investigate this uh, this historical issue. In the same way you use a historical movie. So to me, that's probably the best way to use them because it also contributes to game literacy. So it's also you're also training people or like um, not training but educating people to think. Uh, at games, uh, think about games as, as artifacts, not just about the issue. I think the educational games, uh, if it was an educational game, game about the Berlin Wall, might be might, might be even like good and challenging and interesting, but it wouldn't probably achieve this effect to uh, make you think about how the Berlin Wall issue or like the historical uh, construct is being represented in this game. We have this example of. Um, of cinema, I will say, like we, we, we tend to 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 make this uh, this uh, comparison, this parallel with cinema that started as a very like uh, just like entertainment, very crass entertainment, like uh, uh, comedy stuff or like slapstick comedy stuff, and then it it, it matured in a way that it now is basically like with a movie, you're basically able to address important issues uh, and um, make very serious stuff. So the idea is, uh, if games follow the same, the same, uh, um, the, the same sort of like uh, path, they will eventually like uh, also detach themselves from the this imperative that I have to entertain you. So uh, to me, as uh, to me, like making something that is engaging or is even like entertaining is something different than making something that. Uh, basically allows you to just disconnect from the world and being this sort of fantasy. And fantasy is important too, but to me uh, it shouldn't be a sort of like imaginary like way to compensate uh, what you don't have in real life. You know? I make games, I make uh, culture, not necessarily art. If if that stuff is considered as to is considered to have a, some kind of artistic value, that's kind of a side effect. Uh, Mod Industria as a project started more as a media activist project, so to me it was similar to like indie media, to me it was the same kind of universe. And then it became a little bit more of a personal uh, indie sort of project, because the idea was to create a, a collective that will probably um, Sort of like serve certain issues, like oh, let's get together and make a game instead of like for, with the same like for for the same reason you make videos uh, or uh, you write magazines. So to me, that was kind of that idea, and then it, it became uh, a, since that didn't really work as a, as I wanted, it became more like an artistic sort of project. I have a sort of like twofold goal. One thing is to is actually convey certain values or certain, certain like uh, messages so using games as medium in the same way you use a video but the other and to me is more ambitious than maybe even more interesting beside like 
communicating stuff or like expressing ideas or feelings, it, to me it's also important to uh, investigate the very nature of games using games. So like it, to unpack, to point to the ideology of games. So the idea is uh, I make a game that makes you think about all the other games.